welcome to Evo Spars. I am Mr. Humbledink. Um, I just fought one of my teammates in like a sparring thing that we do. Try and get better. We fought four times. He beat me two times leading up to this fight, and I beat him once. So it's two one to him. If I settle it here, we draw. Mainly, I'm just trying to learn from what I did. There's also a crazy finish to this fight that I want you to see. So make sure you stick around to the end because I want us to discuss this uh, ending. So we start the fight, he takes me down straight away and tries to go for the ground apparently I think I did a good job of making him miss there. So an elbows off my back, feet on the hips, go for the armbar straight away. Just try to check his uh, joint defence, see how good he is. Obviously I've probably already done it in previous fights so I've seen something but There's a few things I learned there as well. I could, I can um, stop him from slamming me. Fake one way and then went under the for the underhook to get to full guard. He fakes one way and he does me with something I really like. He goes to the right. He did that in a previous fight that we had as well, and he got it. So I remembered it and then counted it. So I'm now on top, and I think I reversed the position. Um, did some damage, tiny bit of a uh, pound. He's doing a good job there, he's got a really good overhand right. One thing I really like about his style is he, when he throws he commits every single time. Nice push kick from him, beautiful little combination from me inside there. If it's a very close round at the moment, um, I feel like I might just be edging it. Just because I did reverse the position and stuff like that. Now he's starting to hit me a bit though. Oh, big overhand. He comes back, he whiffs his shot. I knew the overhands were dangerous for me because he caught me with them in the previous fights, so I kind of downloaded that information already. Trying to get my fades going, but like I said, he just commits to his shots, he's really good at um, coming in. Well, this round is a lot closer than I thought it was. He takes me down, big slam as well. Currently, he's winning if he keeps on top here. Landed some shots. These shots aren't like really damaging, but they're annoying. If you know what I mean, do some damage damage to the body, I guess. I take the thing and I do some damage. I go to Neon Belly. Big shots there. Oh, he got he got the back of us. This is that round was super close. I thought, when I, like, from what I thought, I thought I won it quite clearly. Watching it back, it was it was a lot closer than I thought it was. Even I look at, I try and that's what I did. I looked at the stats and got comfortable. Ah, big mistake there. I should have presumed that he won that round. Oh, that was cheeky. He's my teammate and he fucking comes out with a cheap shot push kick. I shouldn't have touched his I never touch anyone's gloves usually. I always just pump a fake out so it just stops the full process of it. And he comes out, look at this. He has caught me off guard and that push kick started it all. It kind of annoys me because I wonder how this fight was if I didn't. He kind of took advantage of the fact that we were teammates there and kicked him, push kick me in the head. I, I wouldn't have done that. I would, I would have expected someone to push me, kick me in the head. But yeah, he's killing me in this round. This is a completely different round. So from his perspective, he's won the first round. Oh, it's a close first round, which now I can see why he thinks that or why, um, why the judges give him it. The second round, he's come out and he's just pacing me, but I'm starting to block some of them kicks and start to try to counter him a bit. I think he's just done so much damage in the start of that fight, even though there was the push kick. There was, I'm starting to do a bit more damage back. Yeah, a lot of it was heavy based in the first, like first two minutes. First minute. 
I think he's got to start coming back in this round. Like, towards the end of the round, I'm doing better, if you know what I mean. Starting the game, then clinch, start to do some damage. Caught him to the head there. This gives me some confidence going into the next round, because I'm starting to land some shots. Didn't catch him on the break, which I'm a bit good about. I usually catch people on the break with that. Oh, I thought I rocked him here. And then... He I walked into him and look at these survival skills here. Block, block, and then catch. Oh my god, how did I survive that? At this point, desperation calls. We're trying everything. We're going for the standing guillotine. We're, we're trying to win. Look, my stamina is lower than his, even though I get a little bit of a boost. I think he does in the third round. I wish it was a five round fight, by the way. I forgot to set them the five round fights after the first two we had really close uh, first fight I was just like oh set it to five rounds because my pace would have changed and his probably would have as well but it just makes for a much more technical war rather than you can't really go ham unless you you know you're going to finish your opponent and pushes up here he batters me this round he jumps on my back he wants to I really like the fact he wants to prove a point on the ground to me because I've had so much success in certain positions and I, I will have probably some success going forward you'll see, so, see me reverse stuff and different things like that like denials um, to admission attempts things like that even getting the full guard there but he he doesn't stop but like constantly, constantly wants to do it Constantly wants to test my ground game, which I like. I like people that are not put off just because you're good. There's a lot of people that are like very, very good in the ground, and I love learning from them. They're like it's one of my favourite things. Right, going in at the third, I think. Watching it back and looking at that scorecard, I think he's up to. I try to catch him off guard there because he caught me in the second round. Here we go. So this is where I thought I won. Rocked him, dropped him, knocked him down. He's got nothing left. I've got no stamina left. I'm thinking I can get knee in the body, but this might be a knee head here. He's walking back into my power. I'm just throwing hooks so he circles one way. And then he gets the takedown, does he? Oh, good job defending. I'm not playing around in this round because I need to finish him. Did you see that? When I was throwing punches there trying to get into position to finish him, it like stopped me completely. And I nearly finish him here. But like is the am I doing something wrong in that position? Does anyone know? Can anyone tell me? Am I like supposed to move a certain way to get an easier finish there? Did I do something wrong or was the game glitching out? Because I don't actually know if there's like a a way to move to the side or something to, to finish that fight. Let me know, yeah. Defensively you better be careful. Thought I got him here started getting in with I do this to really good people sometimes and they just can't get a time in and they still try and block the punches look at that from him I actually press kick but it wasn't I knew he was going to do it as beats happened before me but I just he wouldn't let me kick so um we'd be weird but now we're clock wasted now like I'm not going to finish him on the ground unless I have a good flurry of ground and pound and at the moment he's got a good he's got done a good job in defending so I should be trying to get back to my feet here. This is my, but this is there's something I can learn from this fight. Like I need to do everything to get back to my feet because even though he's dangerous, I've just rocked him three times and I've just knocked him down three times in a quick succession. He's still hurt. Look at his head health. You can see it. He takes my back and now he's in the offensive position. And this is why I should have tried to do it from my power to get up. Well, there are a few things more Takes fun me, uh, than watching mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I went to mount there because I just didn't want, I, like I was saying, I don't want to be there. He threw one strike there just to see what I do and my health is fucked here. Now we're clock wasting again and uh, he thinks he's going to get it but I don't get put in joint submissions but it's like clock wasting still. I think he was quite confident he'd won. But going in, I thought I won the first when I was um, Continuing to try to manipulate when I looked at my here. stats because it's hard to remember when you fight. So I usually check the stats just to see, if, just to see if like I should take risks in the third. I'll check if I'm winning. I won the first because I've definitely won the third. 
Could be rocks and knockdowns and stuff. Could even be a 10 8. The amount of knockdowns and the amount of rocks. And he did a good job wasting that last two minutes of the clock. Like, very good technically if you think you've won. To secure the lead, secure the finish. Good fight, man. What a fight from that guy. I'm going to fight him a lot more and try and pick his game apart and stuff and then try and build upon that because that was an awesome performance from him. The push kick annoyed me, but um, it's something. Well, something you're used to in ranked and stuff like that, so it's not, it's not a big deal. As he truly his I came back in the third as well, and got him back. Kind of. Is that two 10 8s? Is that two, is that 10 8 in the third? 28 27? So we're going to take a look at the stats and I've got some screenshots of them. So let's have a look. First round, I landed a rock. I did a bit more significant strikes. I had more total uh, strikes together and we had about the same amount of control. But he had two takedowns. That was the difference in that round. On the stats anyway. As far as as far as the game went, I actually thought he won it when I watched it back. That second round he dominated. Absolutely dominated. Could have been a 10-8. Might have been. And in the third round, I think I dominated more than him in the second round on the stats, but yeah, what a fight. Who do you guys think won? Let us know in the chat, let us know, just message me. Thank you to my opponent and my teammate RB for giving me the pleasure to fight him. And um, thank you everyone watching. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.